yeah, what is it about nonviolent communication? Um, how can we how can we communicate open and honest without hurting others? I just switch that on. Yeah. Um, this is the, the idea, how can I be open and honest um, without hurting others? Um, everything is connect, connected with everything. And Marshall says that we are not, um, yeah, that, that the judgment is the, the really the violence in our world. And every criticism, judgment, diagnosis and expression of anger is the tragic expression of an unmet need. That means that um, we here in uh, nonviolent communication are going from the moral judgment more and more into the um, yeah into the world of needs. What do you need and what do I need? Um, then another um, aspect of communication is uh, the fundament of our success. Good communication leads to good relationships and good relationships leads to good collaboration and good collaboration leads to our success. This is if you um, go into your pa past, you can um, prove it and this is a real for every success. So everything starts with good communication. Um, Nonviolent communication is like learning a new language. You need to change your um, gram grammar, you need to change your words, um, you need to change your also your listening and your style of um, yeah your style of language. Everything we do, we do because of needs, Rosenberg continued. All needs serve life. Nothing we do is bad, but some strategies for satisfying our needs, alienate us from others. That means that every everybody of us um, has the same needs and independent of religion, of culture, of uh, age and so on. Um, you probably know these Maslow's um, needs pyramid. And there we have not only hunger and uh, shelter, but also uh, needs like to be heard, to be seen, um, to be integrated, uh, to be appreciated, and so on. And we are going in with the nonviolent communication more and more into the aspects of needs. Um, with nonviolent communi communication, we learn a language of life that helps us to live and apply. Here we lead Bosch principles, but uh, also, we, we can say um, values and needs in daily practice, like trust, openness, respect, empathy, and so on, what we all need. So um, influencer of nonviolent communication are um, the main, from my point of view, was Carl Rogers and um, yeah, Marshall Rosenberg was a, a psychologist and he created this, from my point of view, holistic approach, um, what is really sustainable. Uh, what is important, um, the uh, humanistic approach we have in the nonviolent communication. We have an, this is the mindset. We are, we, we, we are coming from the approach that humans are good by birth and want to contribute to life and well-being of other human beings, um, with in, yeah, with two preconditions. Um, we can do it voluntarily and at least one need of ourself is also still fulfilled. What we live in our um, common culture or in our uh, present culture is this um, more Tayloristic approach. Um, humans are bad and lazy from birth on or from early state on, and we only can motivate them um, by reward or punishment. And if we want to motivate them more and more, we 
have only the possibility to increase the reward or to increase the punishment. So um, here is the method. The one thing is the mindset change and the other side is the method. What are we doing in our world is we are doing interpretations and judgments and we are not connected with our hearts. Um, we often or very often um, in the in the solution, in the strategy and um, last but not least, we then have a demand. In the uh, nonviolent communication world, we start with an observation. Yeah, um, this is what a camera or a microphone would would um, would take. Then we we speak about or we talk about our feelings. Then we try to find out what what do we need here in this situation. Yeah, probably we need respect. I need um, appreciation. I need your support and the fourth step of the nonviolent communication is then a request and this could be either a, a concrete request in order to what what the other person person should do to enrich my life or it could be a relationship request um, in order to uh, give more quality into our relations and I think um, each and every relation of ourself uh, could be better. These relationship requests are probably how does this sound for you? Is that okay with? Is that okay for you? Um, can you tell me what what you what you hear from me? Um, yeah, this is and this 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 fourth step from my point of view is the most important step. Again uh, to the, to the process in the nonviolent communication. So, uh, for example, I have this uh, sentence here in the beginning. Um, you probably already heard that. I am not responsible for that. You are welcome to complain. It won't change anything anyway. Yeah. What What are we doing, or how do we react if we hear such a sentence? Yeah. Normally, we are. Um, angry, we we judge this person, and so on and so forth. Now, what is um, what is the change in the nonviolent communication? Um, the change is, is now we do an inner process. Yes, that means oh, I'm looking into myself and look what is alive in me. So I can say, okay, what what I'm thinking now about that person and what do I feel now and what do I need here? Yeah, I probably need uh, support. I probably need um, an openness to 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 deal. Yeah, and what could be a request? And what we also could do in the nonviolent communication is this the outer process. That means I change my um, perspective and have a look on the other person and look and try to look what is alive in the other person. That means I, um, <clears throat> I think about what could be uh, her situation, what, what are her or his feelings and, and um, what is his or her situation. And what does he need? Yeah, but probably he needs uh, also support, but not from me, but from his boss or something. And what could be a request um, of him? So this is the, 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 the two possibilities. We can decide how we will uh, handle such uh, situations in future. This is not, this is simple, but not easy. Yeah, um, but it's an uh, yeah a tool to go further on and to grow into more um, self confidence and um, yeah power self power. So um, again, uh, here the needs behind the message. 
um, <clears throat> when we when we understand the needs that motivate our own and others' behavior, we have no more enemies. That means if I hear this uh, sentence, I can um, I can guess which need is not fulfilled in the other person. Yeah, probably he needs trust or respect or fairness or being heard and so on. Yeah, um, just uh, a few takeaways for today are um, start observing, yeah? stop judging in interpretations, um, start listening to understand, not to respond. Yeah, often we, the other person says something and we have already our sentence in our mind and we, we don't listen. Um, then start exploring your feelings. Start to um, yeah, work on your, on your needs. What are your needs? And uh, start differentiating between needs and strategies. And um, tell in, um, in the future what you want and not what you don't want. So, um, okay, this is um, if you want to learn more, once you can join our community if you work at Bosch. And for any other person, you can start with this um, book. Nonviolent Communication, a Language of Life. This is even, or everything is in English available as um, he's an American or was an American. Um, yeah, so this was my presentation. Thank you for listening. And as far as I'm now um, aware, uh, Ruchika would take over. If you yes, I can support you with the interactive part. Yes. Um, Bettina, can you maybe just go one slide back? Yeah. And um, one more hint from me. You, you, everybody's most welcome to just speak, speak up. Um, Jana, I, I can read what you're writing. So you can, I think you're also from that background. I can make out. Is it true? Yes. Well, yes. but most I'm welcome not to speak out. Trainer. Yeah. I'm Are not a, a non-violation -vi communication trainer, but I'm, I'm, how to say, learning and searching about three years now. And uh, actually, I'm not the main community manager in our company. That's another colleague. It's Yvonne. And um, I joined a few months ago this community. So I cannot, I can show you if you would like to. Uh, see how we build up our page. Um, but I cannot say something about history, how we started it. Okay, so um, for those um, who, who do not understand German, uh, Jana just now wrote that the main communication problem is that we, we do not listen to understand, but we listen to reply, which is I can completely agree on. Okay, so um, Thanks, Bettina, first of all, and thank you, Jana, for this uh, very true input of yours. Um, Bettina, these six takeaways, are, you also always uh, train. This is a part of the training which Bettina normally gives. So this is a perspective um, from the one who is um, whose need is not being fulfilled. So who is being judged, for example, right? This is not the perspective of somebody who is observing this. Correct. So it's not the view of a community manager, for example. It's somebody, a member who might um, have the need for respect or who does not feel understood, for example. Right. Um, mm, yes, but it could could be also the the I I'm guessing what is the life in the other person. Yeah. So I just start. Uh, with the observation, yeah, and ask him what what happened. Could you please tell me what what happened? Okay. Without judging, uh, I know, yeah, he's a bad guy, and don't tell me anything. But uh, exactly ask what exactly did happen, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, let me just. 
go over to the inter interactive part of yeah. one second. I will start sharing. 